Welcome to this overview of the new features available in the Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF version 7.1 upgrade. This upgrade provides you with added functionality and improvements in the areas of productivity, color, integration, usability, and more. In this upgrade, you will see that in addition to a number of new features, we have also brought back features that were available in older versions of Fiery Pro Server and Fiery XF but were not originally made available in version 7. Many users have asked us to restore these features and, as you will see, we listened. Upgrading your system from version 7.0 to version 7.1 is a straightforward process. You can upgrade using either the online updaters for Fiery Command Workstation and Fiery XF Server, or by downloading the installers from EFI.com. A single installer will be available for Fiery Command Workstation 6.3 or for Fiery XF 7.1. These installers can be used whether you are performing an upgrade to your existing system or when you are doing a clean install of a new system. If you have a valid Software Maintenance and Support Agreement SMSA, in place, you will see a notification in the upper right hand corner of Fiery Command Workstation alerting you when an upgrade for your Fiery server is available for installation. From Fiery Server Control, the License Manager has been launched. As you can see, version 7.0 is currently licensed on the system. Next, launch the online updater from Fiery Server Control and select the option to download version 7.1 and then proceed with the download. The upgrade process will automatically create a backup of your version 7.0 installation although you may also want to manually create a backup yourself before you begin the upgrade process. Also, note that the upgrade process itself will delete all current jobs from your Fiery XF server. If you have not processed all of the jobs on your Fiery system, you may wish to do so prior to upgrading or you will need to re-import them into your system after the upgrade is completed. Please consider this before upgrading to Fiery XF 7.1. After the download has been completed, or if you have launched the upgrade that you downloaded from the EFI website, the License Manager will automatically launch. Click the Upgrade button and your system will check to ensure that you have a valid Software Maintenance and Support Agreement SMSA, in place. Note that your computer must have Internet access in order to complete this step. If you receive this notification, our system did not show that you have an SMSA in place. If your Fiery product is not covered under an EFI software agreement, an EFI representative or certified EFI reseller can provide you with the Fiery upgrade or EFI software agreement options available based on the Fiery product that you own. If you have any questions on the status of your EFI software agreement, please contact Fiery Wide Format Support at EFI.com. If a valid SMSA has been verified, you will see a confirmation message stating that your server license has been upgraded to version 7.1. License Manager will now show that your license has been upgraded to version 7.1 and you can then continue with the upgrade process. You will also need to use Fiery Software Manager to upgrade any version 6.2 installation of Fiery Command Workstation to version 6.3. Fiery Command Workstation and Fiery XF Server upgrades are released separately and each provide added functionality to your system. You should install upgrades to either Command Workstation or your Fiery XF Server whenever they are made available so that you can take advantage of all enhancements as they are added. Let's begin exploring Fiery XF 7.1 by taking a look at the productivity improvements provided by this upgrade. The option to print unidirectional or bidirectional on printers directly driven by your Fiery system has been moved from the printer pane to the media pane in Server Manager. The default setting is read from the calibration file, the EPL file, and you can easily override this setting. You will now be able to define the rotation, positioning, and alignment of individual tiles by opening the split tiles in Job Editor. You will also be able to rotate individual tiles by 180 degrees by right-clicking on them and selecting the Rotate option from the contextual menu. Note that the tiles do not rotate in the preview image in Job Editor. 
a greatly missed feature in Fire EXF 7.0, minimal media consumption, makes its return in Fire EXF 7.1. When selected, this feature will automatically rotate your jobs by 90 degrees if the job will still fit on your specified media width without cropping or scaling, and the rotated job will use less media length. If your workflow is set to scale imported jobs, the rotation will be calculated after your job is scaled. Select multiple child jobs in your nesting jobs, right click, and you will now be able to select from a number of standard alignment options, such as aligning the vertical edges or the centers. Users of the Fotoba WR marks have asked for the return of the 0mm vertical line setting, and you will find this option is once again available in version 7.1. If you select the option to include Fotoba WR cut marks in your printed jobs, you can now define the vertical lines to be 0mm in width essentially rendering them invisible. Another request that we have regularly received is to be able to combine grommet and cut marks in the same job. Care should be taken to ensure that the marks do not overlap. The preview and job editor can be used as your accurate guide when defining the location of these marks. The final productivity improvement is the addition of support for barcodes for use with Colex cutters. You can now add barcodes when using the OXF RegMark type cut marks for Colex sharp cut models using OptiScout Prepare 8. Next, we will explore the improvements in the color capabilities in Fiery ProServer and Fiery XF 7.1. Fiery XF's dynamic rendering intent dynamically decides between the perceptual and the relative colorimetric rendering intent to provide you with the best gamut mapping results. In Fiery XF 7.1, the choice of relative colorimetric has been replaced with our new relative colorimetric with BPC superior rendering intent for even better results. Relative colorimetric with black point compensation superior will closely match the results you would obtain when using black point compensation in the Adobe Creative Cloud applications. The version 7.1 upgrade supplies you with the option to ignore the transparency blending space specified in a PDF file when the file is color managed. By ignoring the transparency blending space, you minimize color errors that can be caused by a mismatch between the blending space and destination ICC profile. Following the recommendation from Adobe, this feature is on by default in version 7.1. Finally, you will now find support for the new Konica Minolta FD9 and Barbieri Spectro LFP QB spectrophotometers, which can be used for both calibration and profiling, as well as when performing the profile optimization process. Verification support will be added in a future release. This feature was actually added with the release of Fiery Command Workstation version 6.3. Now let's take a look at the integration improvement that has been added to Fiery XF 7.1. For selected EFI printers, your Fiery system will now be able to communicate ink type, dot size, print mode, and half-toning job parameters to future EFI PACE and EFI Market Direct storefront installations. Next, we'll examine the usability improvements that have been added to Fiery XF 7.1. Two new buttons, Reset to EPL Values and Reset to Print Mode Defaults, will be available on the Special Settings tab for HP DesignJet L25500, L26500, L28500, and Latex 260 and 280 printers. Clicking on the Reset to EPL Value button will automatically load the default media type, resolution, and print modes from the selected EPL calibration file, as well as the temperature and special settings. Clicking on the Reset to Print Mode Defaults button will analyze the media type, resolution and print mode selections and automatically load the default HP temperature and special parameter settings. Rotation and output size selections will now be displayed in the job summary section of Job Center for any selected job available after the job has been opened in Job Editor. Nesting jobs will display the size of the overall nesting and not any individual job. Select a server and launch Server Manager 
and you will now see the computer name and IP address that the FireEXF 7.1 server is installed on in the header of Server Manager. Media and workflows are listed alphabetically in Server Manager, which will be a great help for anyone managing a high number of medias and workflows. Over 70 new printer drivers have been added to the FireEXF 7.1 upgrade. These drivers support new printers from AGFA, Canon, Digitech, Durst, Epson, Fuji, HP, Inca, Mamaki, and Osei. When selecting a driver for a number of EFI printers, you will see that driver versions are available that include the words Fast Drive. When using a ProServer Premium based system, as an example, for the printers listed here, select a Fast Drive printer driver and you will realize an average 20% speed increase when processing single jobs and a 10% increase when processing nesting jobs. This alone is a great reason for 7.0 users to upgrade to 7.1. Fast Drive will work with calibration files that have been created with version 6.5 or higher. Your FireEXF server will automatically create a Fast Drive clone of the existing calibration after you restart your server and when you download a calibration set from the EFI website. The existing calibration file will not be modified. A set of generic EFI ViewTech and EFI Maton calibrations (EPL files) and media profiles will be available for download using the FireEXF Profile Online Update in Fiery Server Control. You will see displayed an indication that the Fast Drive driver is being used under the Source File Information pane if a job is opened in Job Editor. The new Fast Drive printer drivers for the printers listed here, when used with the newest Fiery Pro Server Premium 7.1 hardware, will provide you with a greater productivity when compared to non-fast drive printer drivers. All current EFI superwide printers have a fast drive printer driver equivalent. Finally, support for a new skip white functionality has been added for selected EFI ViewTech and EFI Maton printers in FireEXF 7.1. This feature accelerates the printing time as the print head and or the printer media advance is instructed to skip areas where no image information exists, illustrated by the blue color on the example on the right. Skip white decreases the printing time and increases productivity. We support skip white where the printer supports skip white. This feature requires the selection of a fast drive driver and you will find that this feature is on automatically with fast drive printer drivers and will work with any FireEXF 7.1 installation. Finally, let's look at some system details for the FireEXF 7.1 upgrade. System requirements for Fiery Command Workstation 6.3 and FireEXF 7.1 are nearly the same requirements that existed for Fiery Command Workstation version 6.2 and FireEXF 7.0. A Windows installation will require a faster processor and additional RAM. Other specifications have remained the same. In order to use your new FireEXF 7.1 server, you will need to have the Fiery Command Workstation version 6.3 installed. The 6.3 upgrade to Command Workstation is a native 64-bit application that will provide you with improved responsiveness, high DPI monitor support, as well as support for Fiery Job Flow version 2.5. Fiery Job Flow is our pre-press workflow automation software solution. For additional information on Job Flow, please explore the EFI website. You will find that Fiery Command Workstation version 6.3 will now launch up to 1.6 times faster than previous versions, while Job Editor will launch up to 2.4 times faster depending upon the type of job that you are opening. Remember, FireEXF version 7.1 server is only compatible with version 6.3 of Fiery Command Workstation and is also recommended for use if you are also running FireEXF version 7.0 servers. We are also pleased to introduce 
Fiery Pro Server Premium 7.1. This new Pro Server uses a powerful graphics card to greatly decrease the time that it takes to process your jobs. On average, jobs ripped using a Fiery Pro Server Premium 7.1 will process much faster compared to previous Pro Servers. You will see a speed increase whether you are ripping single jobs or nesting jobs. Some jobs will process much faster, but you can expect on average a two times increase in processing speed. Version 7 saw the arrival of an extensive array of e-learning courses made available to our partners and our customers. These courses cover topics such as system installation, setup, basic job processing, creating, nesting, tiling, and step and repeat jobs, as well as color management tasks such as building calibration files and ICC profiles, working with spot colors, and performing job verification and optimization. Complete details on all these courses will be found at learning.efi.com. In addition, EFI Communities is the new platform that you can access to connect, share, learn, and browse through our knowledge base articles, forum posts, and how-to guides. At EFI Communities, you can ask questions about EFI products and obtain answers from technical experts, fiery users, and or EFI engineers. You can also receive updates about new releases and find important product updates. For additional details, please refer to the Fiery XF 7.1 Upgrade eLearning course available at no charge at learning.efi.com. Thank you for your time.